Today, I'm going to show you how you can create digital Valentines for your friends or your teachers at your school and how to send them digitally. So when you get this Google drawings from your teacher, you're going to have three different templates to choose from to create your Valentines. You also have the option of creating a Valentine completely from scratch by clicking on the blank template in the bottom right hand corner. So when you're ready to start, you're going to click the Valentine template you want, and then you're going to click the link that appears below. It's going to ask you to, if you'd like to make a copy, you'll click make a copy. Then you're going to rename it in the upper left hand corner. So instead of copy of digital Valentine, I want it to say my friend's name. So I'm going to type in Francis. Anytime you see the words type here on the Valentine, that means that there's a text box there and you can delete the text and type in your own text. You're also able to change the headings on this Valentine. So you can change happy Valentine's day. You're also able to change thank you for, or three words that describe you, etc. Now, when you see the image icon, on this Valentine, that means that you can insert an image from the Google search. So to do that, you're going to click the insert image icon in the toolbar. When you click it, then you'll click search the web. You'll type in what it is you're looking for. So I'm going to type in kids biking and I'm going to scroll through until I see the image that I like. I like this one right here. So I'm going to double click on it. To make it smaller, I'm going to click and drag the corner boxes down until it fits into the box. And I'll move it into the box here. Now, when your Valentine is completed, like this example here, you're going to share it with that friend by clicking on the share button in the upper right hand corner. You're going to type in your friend's name. You can type in their last name first if you want it to come up a little quicker. If you want to include a message here, you can. You don't have to. I'm going to change editor on the right side to either viewer if I want the friend to just look at it or commenter if I want them to be able to write a little comment, which is kind of fun too. I'm going to click commenter and then I'm going to click send. Now this Valentine has been sent to my friend Francis. Now I'm ready to create another Valentine. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the Google drawing that my teacher sent, and I'm going to click on the same one. If I want to do another one of these, or I can click on a different template. So this time I'm going to click on this template at the bottom and I'll click the link that appears underneath. Again, you'll click make a copy. The first thing I'm going to do again is click at the top and rename it. This time I'm going to send it to my friend Elias. Then I'm going to click and drag one of these sayings on the right hand side over on to my card. Now it says drag a saying here, delete this box first. So I can go ahead and delete this box just by clicking on it and clicking delete. And then I'm going to make my saying a little bit bigger. That way it's the main focus here. Then it says drag clip art here. So you have all these choices of clip art on the left hand side. I'm going to delete this box. Now that I know where my clip art goes, I'm going to drag this world over. Now you're going to notice it's way too small for the card, right? You want this to be nice and big. So you'll click and drag out those corners again. All right. Then you're going to insert an image here so you can decide what type of image you want. You'll do the same thing by clicking insert image and search the web. And then I'm going to move on to my list of why my friend is so great. So I can change if I don't want this to say why you're awesome. I might want it to say why you're super cool. If you need more space in this text box, you can always click and drag these middle boxes out to make your text box bigger. And then I'll type why my friend is so cool. So here's an example of my completed card. Now, when I'm ready to share this one, I want to get rid of all these extra sayings and clip art first, because I don't want my friend to see that. So to do that really quickly, I'm going to click 
in this gray space at the top and drag a big box around all these sayings. Now you can see they're all highlighted. I just click delete and they're gone. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna click in the gray space, drag a big box around and click delete. Now my friend will just see this card. So to share it, again, you're gonna click the share button in the upper right-hand corner, type in that friend's name, and send it to them. When you're ready to make more, you just go back to the Google Drawing to create the rest. Now you might be wondering how you or your friends are going to see the Valentines. Well, if you have email, with your school account, you'll get a notification in your email. Otherwise, your teacher or you will tell your friend to look in their shared with me folder on their Google Drive and they'll see their Valentines there. They can click on it and read it and even comment on it if you chose them to be a commenter.